it just club competition in European football? And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's PSG, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Lucas Hernandez plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Kangin Lee plays alongside Vitor Pereira in central midfield. And lining up... Oh, free chance here, Derek. What a brilliant play. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Mbappe. Determined defending. Pereira Vitor Pereira Oh, could be Can he pull it away? And the ball is loose And the danger clear Well, PSG really should be level now But that was a fantastic stop by the goalkeeper He's just kept his team in front here And looking to apply further pressure from this position this could square the game. Spot on with that tackle. Diogo Dano. Now Casemiro. And stuffing out the danger. Diogo Dallo. Lindelof now. And successfully cut out. PSG looking dangerous. But timely defending when it mattered. Rashford This attack looks highly promising Kangin Lee They could level it Oh, not to be Stopping a certain goal oh, Pressing really high Oh, he's lost possession Dembele. A chance to whip it in. Good physical play. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. But no damage done. That's the main thing. Getting close to the half-time interval. United with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they put into the game? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. And possession is the watchword inside their own territory. A tremendous vision. Plenty of 
time afforded Rashford. Under no real pressure, he has thinking time. And the referee's whistle, we've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Kangin Lee. Here's Hernandez. Dembele. how to do it inside your own penalty area Marquinhos Ferreira on to Hernandez Ferreira with Danilo Pereira Hakimi well now he's let that run out of play and it will be a throw in here substitution it is for PSG Maguire, Lindelof now. Bruno Fernandes has it. Now with Rashford. Rashford can be problematic for opposing defenders. Well, that's a fine looking pass. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And deciding to go short with this one. Gassinio. Timely intervention. Kylian Mbappe. Ferreira. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Kylian Mbappe. Hakimi. Still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Bruno Fernandes has it. Lindelou. Opportunity. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So the ball rolling again, 2-0. Pereira. Here's Marquinhos. Ten minutes to go then. Vitor Pereira. Tempele. And 
bring it back. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say this does have enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Oh, in with a chance! A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Marquinhos. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. And now the whistle they all wanted to hear. Manchester United have painted the Champions League red. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement for them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester United. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel.